This is a Kenmore HE2 electric dryer and it stopped working. The power would come on, but when I pushed the start button, nothing happened. Turns out it was a fuse and I'll show you how I fixed it. I basically took the whole thing apart, though I didn't have to do that. I'll link a very good disassembly video below. Here are the two fuses that you'll need to check. Thermal fuse and the thermistor. I'm using a multimeter to check the fuses, and this meter worked great. It's an ANOVA 3320. You need to remove at least one of these leads, but I decided to remove all of them. So I placed the multimeter on ohms, and I'm checking resistance. So this fuse is working. Now I'll check the thermal fuse. And it is, it is dead. This one is not working. Since I have the dryer open, I'm going to check the high limit thermostat and the thermal fuse on the heating element. Sorry about the shoulder, but I'm just removing the leads. It's pretty simple. So I'm, I'm not really sure what this part is, but as you can see, it is, it is working. This is the thermostat and it is working. This is the thermal fuse, and it is working. This meter has an audio function, and I thought I'd try it out. Beeping indicates they're good. Here's the bad thermal fuse, and the new one for Sears Kenmore Whirlpool, and I'll check them out. So I set it to ohms. Dead. This is the new thermal fuse. And it's working great. And just for fun, I'll do the audio part. Dead. Reassembling the dryer takes a little time, but it's fairly easy, so I'm not going to get into that. Look for the disassembly reassembly link. One good thing about taking the dryer apart, though, was that I was able to remove at least two to three cups of dust.